Hi Niagara, it's Sarah Palmieri, Director of Programming and Marketing at the beautiful First Ontario Performing Arts Centre in downtown St. Catharines. We're here tonight for a sold out show with David Wilcox and local band Gravely are going to kick us off. So we're excited to have Partridge Hall sold out to the walls again. There's a few shows coming up in February that we want you not to miss. First up is Dwayne Gretzky. Now, if you've never heard of this band, it's something like you've never seen before. It's a 10-piece juggernaut of a band that celebrates the moments when you turn on the radio and hear your favorite songs. Now, Valentine's Day is coming up. Do you have your plans yet? If not, make the PAC your home for Valentine's Day. We're welcoming the incredible Candace Springs. She's a jazz singer, celebrated jazz singer from Nashville. She first came to stardom in 2014 when she signed with Blue Note and her career took off from then. But not only do we have Candace, but we also have local celebrated 2021 Juno Award winning jazz artist Sammy Jackson on the bill. So don't miss Sammy Jackson and Candace Springs on February 14th. Get your tickets, make your plans before you get in trouble. Now, it's February, it's family day. Most of us have the day off, and we've made the PAC your home for everything to do on Family Day. We're filling this space, every nook and cranny. We have a bunch of free and ticketed events not to be missed. We are welcoming Carousel Players with a great show they have called The Drama Garden. And in Robertson Theatre, it's going to be set up. There's going to be five different showings throughout the day. In the big hall here in Partridge Hall, we're welcoming Ill Abilities, an incredible international breakdance crew comprised of differently abled, fantastic dancers. Not only do they put on an incredible show, but they'll also share motivational stories of their journey to becoming incredible dancers. In the recital hall, we're thrilled to partner with the Niagara Symphony Orchestra, and they're presenting a show called Postcards from a Blue Planet. It's composed by Kevin Lau, and it's a love letter to the Earth that takes us through the journeys of all the different diverse biospheres. And that's recommended for ages four and up, and there'll be two shows, one at 10.30 and one at 12.30. And family day wouldn't be family day without the film house. So in the morning, we have from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., it's free drop-in and we're doing classic cartoons and cereal. It's free and then there's a little add-on you can buy all different fun cereals to enjoy that nostalgic old and new cartoons. And then later in the day, we're thrilled to welcome back Hub of the Hammer and there we're doing an interactive screening of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's my favorite Wonka film and not only will there be prizes and trivia, but there'll be lots of fun interaction throughout the day. So those are the venues, but we also have other things happening. There's activities and crafts. We're partnering with Bravo Niagara, and we're going to work with the community to make 1,000 paper cranes that will be on display in the lobby here of the Performing Arts Centre as we lead up to their world premiere of their incredible dance piece called Kimiko's Pearl that's coming to the PAC in June. We are also welcoming Willow Arts Community and we're going to be building our PAC family tree. So it'll be an interactive arts project that we'll work on together throughout the day. We have an incredible project called Crystal's Dreamcatcher and this is a restoration of a massive dreamcatcher from the late Crystal Great Drakeford and we'll be working throughout the day and sharing teachings about that as well. Now, that's just a few things in February, but we also have the Film House. And we have titles coming up in February that include The Holdovers, Anatomy of a Fall, Four Daughters, and The Boy and the Heron. And it's our first relaxed screening. We've introduced relaxed screenings here at the PAC. So a couple times each month, uh, we'll have relaxed screenings. And what does that mean? It means it's just a bit more relaxed. The lights will be a little bit higher. The volume will be a bit lower. We'll have descriptive screenings. People can get up, go in and out, and just have a chance to experience it in a way that is more calming and accessible for all. So that's just February. There's lots more coming up after that, and we have a lot of sold out shows or close to sold out shows. So make sure you check out our website, firstontariopac.ca, and find out everything that's happening, whether it's presented from us or from our incredible community partners here at the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre in downtown St. Catharines. See you soon.